Welcome, my friends. Binance and CEO Changpeng Zhao has admitted to financial crimes. The world's largest cryptocurrency exchange just got a little smaller with the U.S. Department of Justice announcing Binance and its CEO, Changpeng Zhao, have both pleaded guilty to a multitude of financial crimes. As a result, Binance will fork out $10 billion to Uncle Sam in fines and settlements. But before we get into all of that, please press the like button and leave us a comment below. We would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. And before we continue, a word from the sponsor of this video. Today's sponsor is ProWorldNet.com. ProWorldNet.com is a job website specifically dedicated to licensed professions. Doctors, including any type of specialty. Nurses, and that includes all grades of nurses. Lawyers, regardless of area of legal focus. Teachers and professors, from kindergarten through graduate school as well as any kind of job that requires a government license or certification. And ProWorldNet.com also includes short-term gig-type jobs as well. So be sure to check out ProWorldNet.com if you are looking for a job or an employee. For those of you not familiar, Binance is a cryptocurrency exchange that allows users to buy, sell, and trade cryptocurrencies, such as Bitcoin, Ethereum, and other altcoins. It is one of the largest cryptocurrency exchanges in the world by trading volume. Binance offers a wide range of features including spot trading, margin trading, futures trading, and more. Users can also earn rewards by staking their cryptocurrencies on Binance. The U.S. government dealt a major blow to the world's largest cryptocurrency exchange, Binance, which agreed to pay a roughly $4 billion settlement Tuesday as its founder and CEO, Changpeng Zhao, pleaded guilty to a felony related to his failure to prevent money laundering on the platform. Zhao stepped down as the company's chief executive. Binance admitted to violations of the Bank Secrecy Act and apparent violations of sanctions programs, including its failure to implement reporting programs for suspicious transactions. Using new technology to break the law does not make you a disruptor. It makes you a criminal, said U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland, who called the settlement one of the largest corporate penalties in the nation's history. As part of the settlement agreement, the U.S. Treasury said Binance will be subject to five years of monitoring and significant compliance undertakings, including to ensure Binance's complete exit from the U.S. Binance is a Cayman Islands limited liability company. The cryptocurrency industry has been marred by scandals and market meltdowns. Zhao was perhaps best known as the chief rival to Sam Bankman-Fried, the 31-year-old founder of the FTX, which was the second largest crypto exchange before the collapsed last November. Bankman Fried was convicted earlier this month of fraud for stealing at least $10 billion from customers and investors. Zhao, meanwhile, pleaded guilty in a federal court in Seattle on Tuesday to one count of failure to maintain an effective anti-money laundering program. Magistrate Judge Brian A. Tsuchida questioned Zhao to ensure he understood the plea agreement, saying at one point, you knew you didn't have controls in place. Yes, Your Honor, he replied. Binance wrote in a statement that it made misguided decisions as it quickly grew to become the world's biggest crypto exchange and said the settlement acknowledges its responsibility for historical criminal compliance violations. U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said Binance processed transitions by illicit actors, supporting activities from child sexual abuse to illegal narcotics to terrorism across more than 100,000 transactions. Binance did not file a single suspicious activity report on those transactions, Yellen said, and the company allowed over 1.5 million virtual currency trades that violated U.S. sanctions. This includes ones involving organizations that the U.S. described as terrorist groups, including Hamas's Al-Qassam brigades, Al-Qaeda, and others. The judge set Zhao's sentencing for Feb. 23. He faces a possible guideline sentence range of up to 18 months. One of his attorneys, Mark Bartlett, noted that Zhao had been aware of the investigation since December 2020 and surrendered willingly even though the United Arab Emirates, UAE, where Zhao lives, has no extradition treaty with the U.S. He decided to come here and face the consequences, Bartlett said. Zhao, who is married and has young children in the UAE, promised he would return to the U.S. for sentencing if allowed to stay there in the meantime. I want to take responsibility and close this chapter in my life, Zhao said. Zhao previously faced allegations of diverting customer funds concealing the fact that the company was co-mingling billions of dollars in investor assets and sending them to a third party that Zhao also owned. Over the summer, Binance was accused of operating as an unregistered securities exchange and violating a slew of U.S. securities laws in a lawsuit from regulators. 
That case was similar to practices uncovered after the collapse of FTX. Zhao and Bankman Fried were originally friendly competitors in the industry, with Binance investing in FTX when Bankman Fried launched the exchange in 2019. However, the relationship between the two deteriorated, culminating in Zhao announcing he was selling all his cryptocurrency investments in FTX in early November 2022. FTX filed for bankruptcy a week later. At this trial and in later public statements, Bankman Fried tried to blame Binance and Zhao for allegedly orchestrating a run on the bank at FTX. A jury found Bankman Fried guilty of wire fraud and several other charges. He is expected to be sentenced in March, where he could face decades in prison. Lawyers for former Binance CEO Changpeng Zhao are urging a U.S. judge to reject the Justice Department's request to bar him from returning to his home in the United Arab Emirates until he is sentenced for violating anti-money laundering requirements. Zhao's lawyers in a Thursday filing asked U.S. District Judge Richard Jones in Seattle not to reverse bail conditions set by a magistrate judge on Tuesday that would allow him to leave the U.S. while awaiting sentencing. Zhao, a citizen of the UAE and Canada, stepped down as CEO of Binance on Tuesday after pleading guilty to willfully causing the global cryptocurrency exchange to fail to maintain an effective anti-money laundering program. U.S. authorities said Binance broke U.S. anti-money laundering and sanctions laws and failed to report more than 100,000 suspicious transactions with organizations the U.S. described as terrorist groups including Hamas, Al-Qaeda, and the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. The company as part of a plea deal agreed to pay more than $4.3 billion. Zhao has agreed to pay a $150 million penalty to the U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission, and prosecutors in a Wednesday filing said he faces up to 18 months in prison. The Justice Department has asked Jones by Monday to reverse a decision by U.S. Magistrate Judge Brian Suchita to allow Zhao to return home to the UAE ahead of his Feb. 23 sentencing after he agreed to release him on a $175 million bail bond. The government said it may be unable to secure his return if he chooses not to come back to the U.S. for sentencing, given that it has no extradition treaty with the UAE, and Zhao is a multi-billionaire with significant assets. But Zhao's lawyers argued that the former CEO had demonstrated he was not a flight risk by agreeing to a substantial bail package and by voluntarily coming to the U.S. to accept responsibility for his actions. Allowing Zhao to return to the UAE would allow him to take care of his partner and three children and prepare them for his sentencing, defense lawyers argued. The Justice Department responded in a brief on Friday that its decision at Tuesday's hearing to recommend Zhao remain free before sentencing was exceptional and was only because it believed the risk of flight he posed could be managed by restricting his travel. In the vast majority of cases, a multi-billionaire defendant who has pleaded guilty faces possible prison time and lives in a country that does not extradite its citizens to the United States would be detained. Justice Department lawyers said. So does this spell the end for cryptocurrency? Or just another speed bump on the way to world domination? But what do you think? Please leave us a comment below and hit the like button. We would love to hear from you. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you are notified of upcoming videos when they are released. Please share this video on social media. Thank you for watching.